Annyeong. Hello from Seoul. Today we're going to show you how to choose good Korean barbecue restaurants in Korea. Not the best, but you never fail. Follow our leads. When you come to Seoul, you guys cannot miss the place like Myeongdong, Insadong, Jongno, or something like that because they are the most popular tourist attractions in Korea and you guys may choose the Korean barbecue restaurants near these places It's quite natural But what if the Korean barbecue restaurant you pick is the one that local people would never visit? In my experience, many restaurants that foreign friends took me was the one I'll never go again It's not because I'm picky, but because it's kind of a tourist trap The high price, the poor quality of meat, and the service is really bad I feel really bad for this kind of situation I think Korean barbecue is quite hard to not delicious But there are a bunch of better Korean barbecue restaurants out there So how can I find good Korean barbecue restaurant subscribe this channel and visit the place I recommend I'm kidding please subscribe and like and it's big help to us No matter where you are in Seoul or Korea, I will help you to find the good quality of a Korean barbecue restaurant. It cannot be the best one in Korea, but you can probably say I had a real Korean barbecue if you follow my lead. To make it short, to avoid tourist traps, you should go to a franchise Korean barbecue restaurant. Because the headquarters manage their branches, it has a reasonable price, good quality of meat, and even the service is nice. There are two restaurants in my head. The first one is called Hanam Dojiji. It is one of the largest Korean barbecue franchises in Korea. This place is everywhere in Korea, so I can't say there is no one who has not been to this restaurant. And the second one is called Machandel Wang Sogumbui. I found that place when I served for the Navy in Busan and it has a big success in Busan area and it became a popular restaurant everywhere in Korea. Both are great, but today we came to Hanam Dojiji because it is closer to my house and it has more branches in Seoul. What we ordered today is modung hampan. It costs $34 and it contains three parts. Samgyeopsal, pork belly, moksal, pork shoulder, and galbisal. The meat around the ribs. It is a little bit too much for two people and it's not enough for three people. They know how to run a business. Ah, moksal is shoulder, not neck? Why do the neck and the neck look like this? It's like this, one. One is one, one is one. It's not a The best thing about this place is that they grill the meat first and serve it. They grill it very quickly with very high heat, so the meat keeps the juice inside and it has an even smoky flavor. After they serve the meat, do we need to grill it by ourselves? No! A skilled server will come to your table and cut and grill it for you. If you are not a master of Korean barbecue, then this is really necessary, right? No matter how much you appreciate that, you don't have to give them a tip because we don't have tipping culture here. When I wait for pork belly to be done, I feel like it is so long. But here, the meat is grilled once, so we don't have to wait too long compared to other restaurants. I like this part too. It's also good that you can keep the meat on a plate like this. It doesn't burn anymore, so we don't have to be in a rush. You can slowly enjoy Korean barbecue here. I like it.
the second thing I like about this place is they use Korean pork, handon. The quality of imported meat cannot be fresher than domestics. It could be frozen or preserved it so long. But in this kind of big franchise restaurant, they receive the domestic pork from the headquarter and they have to show where the meat comes from, which means the quality of the meat here is guaranteed. The reason why I recommend this place is because of this myeonginamul. I don't know how to explain this myeonginamul. I think I could say it's a kind of pickled herb leaf. Anyways, lay down one myeonginamul on a plate and pile up some barbecued meat, some chives, garlic, and a little bit of samjang. That's it. You will experience the ultimate Korean barbecue. I like barbecued meat itself and Claire prefers lettuce wrap. But when we come here, we both go with only myeonginamul. Yes, and this myeonginamul is so expensive, so we need to eat this a lot here. It can satisfy all of you, so please give it a shot. <laughs> Korean barbecue should go with cold noodles, naengmyeon, but today we are eating kimchi jjigae, kimchi stew. Pork really goes well with this kimchi jjigae, and I personally think nothing can beat the combination of kimchi and pork. So I'm gonna try this kimchi jjigae and kimchi fried rice. If you guys are tired of cold noodles, you should try it like us and we will introduce the best kimchi jjigae in Seoul soon, so please look forward to it. Alright, today we introduce you how to choose good Korean barbecue restaurants in Korea. Not the best, but you never fail. It doesn't have to be the two places I told you, but if the restaurant looks big and the interiors are stylish, it could be the franchise restaurant. So don't worry too much and try it. This is it for today. And we will see you next time. Bye!